Okay, everybody. So, to start our prep here, we have 4.9 grams of barbituric acid. You can see here, it is just a white powder. Very nice. Um, that is all of the barbituric acid that was sent to me. So, but I, I've... I'm confident enough in this prep that I think we're going to be okay. So what I, I have scaled everything down um, based on that mass. So um, what we have here is actually like 76 mils of water, but we're supposed to dissolve this in hot water as our first step. So let's do that. Adding in the hot water. Without dumping the stir bar in. There we go, get in there. We want the amount to be reasonably close to what it, the hell it's supposed to be. Alright, let's cover that up so no tree jizz falls into it. I'm trying to do quality work here. Yeah, right. Alright, I don't have the heat turned way the hell up. Maybe I should. It just says hot. It doesn't specify a temperature. Now, this beast could just could take a little while to dissolve. That's possible. And maybe it needs just a bit more water. We would have lost a few mils because of evaporation. Eh, we'll see what it does. Okay. Why are you clumping on me? Don't clump. Clumping is just very not helpful. You're just determined to do it anyway. Well, that that's just great. Well, I don't know if you can see that. Come on, new camera. Surely you are up to the task here. See that there's some little clumps. Oh well, the heat's turned up. We'll give it a little while. Um, once it has more or less dissolved, we will move on to the next step. It it should dissolve. We just need to be patient. And that's one thing about this prep is that there are some steps that just, you just have to wait a couple hours. So, I don't know, start this prep early in the day or something. Although it looks like there's some steps like the chilling and the ice or refrigerator that would be amenable to being done overnight. I don't know that it would make really any difference. Whether it was a few hours or overnight. Okay. And it's slowly getting there. Organic chemistry is the art of being patient. <laughs> really, all chemistry. For somebody that is, like, incredibly impatient like me, this is not an easy feat. Okay, so now that all of our barbituric acid has dissolved... We are going to add in 2.9 grams of sodium nitrite. Focus there. Can't, well, let me zoom out a little bit. Although it's just a clear solution, there's not much to see. Um, this is dissolved in, um, I scaled it down at 7.6 mils of water. It's really 7.7. .7. I know, right? I'm doing this in my backyard. Be merciful, okay? <laughs> All right, here we go. Ah, excellent. It is supposed to immediately turn a deep purple. Marvelous. Let's just give this a little rinse here. Keep it very minimal. We want to keep the water to a minimum. We'll lose a little to evaporation, so it will hopefully all come out in the wash. Now, according to the protocol, we want to let this cool down and... It's supposed, it says that a large amount of sodium violurate will precipitate out, but we don't, okay, come on, new camera, but we don't filter it until later because we've got to do other stuff to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer this over here to the cool sir plate where it can stir, but the heat is off. Um, and I will just let it, I, I, I don't want to let it just cool down without stirring it. The protocol, that I, nothing I've seen specifies either way. Um, but it, 
tends to be better to just kind of keep things moving around so that you don't have to deal with as much crust on the glass, hopefully. Anyway, I don't know. It's just something I, you know, personal preference. <laughs> so, um, there's not much to do now except let this just stir and cool down for a little while. And once it reaches, quote unquote, room temperature, um, we will move on to the next step. So I will come back when we're ready to do that. Okay, everybody, here is our cooled down solution. Um, I have got a pH meter in it that was given to me by Backyard Science 2000. Thank you very, very much for this, dude. Um, this is my first time really trying to use it in an experiment. I've calibrated it with a couple of different buffers, checked it versus pH paper. It looks like it is more or less accurate to the limits of my ability to test it, so we are going to trust it for this. Um, the pH that it's reading, it's staying stable at 5.8, so it's a little bit higher than what we're going to need it to be here by the time we're done with this part. But anyway, what I have here is a mixture of um, sodium chloride, oh shit, and anhydrous sodium acetate that I am now spilling all over the goddamn place. Oh, this is so not working. In there, you. All right. Um, okay. Uh, all right. We're going to fudge it just a little bit here. Get down in there. Get. Okay. <laughs> we are adding that in, I, I think, to make more of the sodium violurate precipitate out here. Or to complete the reaction. I'm, I'm not really clear on that part, but we're just going to follow the instructions for now. I'm sure if I figured it out, it's on the screen. All right. pH dropped a little bit, but not much. Okay, good, good, good. All right, so now it is reading, eh, it's about 5.7. Good, okay, it's about right. I wouldn't be, I'm not surprised by it adjusting a little bit, although it shouldn't have become more acid, it should have become slightly more alkaline, I would think. Hmm. Curious. Well, whatever. We'll just keep going. Um, there are limits to what I can do in my backyard. <laughs> Alright, so now we are going to adjust the pH to between 4 to 5 with glacial acetic acid, and we're going to want to I don't know. The protocol says, um, if I wouldn't scale down to what I've got here, it says 2.9 mils, but I am just going to go with dropwise addition. All right, let's stop there. Let's just let it stabilize and see where it ends up at. Okay. 4.9, 4.8. Okay, so we are in the 4 to 5 range, so we're not going to add any more acid to it. We're just going to let it kind of stir and stabilize here, and then move on to the next step, which is to stir it for 1 to 2 hours at room temperature. All right, what is our pH settling on? Looks like it's hovering right at about 4.6, at 4.61. 4.6. Okay, 4.6 to 4.61. We're going to go with that. So, awesome. Perfect. It's exactly where it should be, and now we're just going to let it stir for a couple hours. So, I will come back when that part is done. Okay, everybody. This has been stirring for about an hour and a half, and I've got my pH meter back in there, and um, it's doing fairly well, actually. I'm surprised. It is... The reading is very consistent um thanks backyard science i really appreciate that brother um so anyway it is hovering just below 4.7 it keeps flickering between 4.68 and 4.69 which is about what it was when we left it to stir an hour and a half ago um so now we are going to adjust the ph to weekly basic um i, I 
don't have an exact quantification on what that means yet. Um, I sent a message to Brother Shackleford. When he replies, I'll, I don't know, I'll, I'll put it on there or we'll just observe what it is here. I mean, there is an amount given for the sodium hydroxide. Um, so we'll, we, we can just kind of play it by ear and see where it takes us. Um, I don't know, if it gets above, like, you know, weekly basic to me means something between like 7 and 8. So, well, we'll see where this takes us. Anywho, um, I know, right? Shut up and do it, and you'll fucking find out. <laughs> so here we go. As usual, this is our scaled-down amount, which I don't recall what it was off the top of my head. I'm sure it's on the screen. I am still going to add it in drop-wise. All I've done is dissolve it in a minimal amount of water and let it cool off. Which means that it's pretty concentrated, but there's there's not much of it. Okay, where are we going? We're north of five now. I know, I, I, I doubt this camera is picking that shit up. I figured you guys wanted to see you know, like the solution and the whole setup. Whoa, 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 we are above eight. Eight point two, eight point three, eight point four. Okay, this ain't... Okay, we can still call this weekly basic. 8.8. 8. 8.9. 8. Uh, are we going to say that 9 is, is weak? We're getting on the... We're getting up towards the edge of what I, I won't call weak anymore, which is 10. Above 9.5 is, uh, come on, 9.2, stabilize, you fucking whore. 9.24, 2.5, listen you, I didn't go through all this fucking trouble and do all this fucking work for you to become too alkaline, do you hear me? Alright, I'm having your bullshit here. 9.26. Uh, yeah. Okay, man. This, to me, is weekly basic. We didn't have to use anything. Let me, let me confirm this. Let's just try it with a pH paper, and let's see if we can get a color. I don't know this thing is, like, saturated with color. But... Maybe we can, maybe we can still see it. All right, so I went and I checked my computer, and Brother Shackelford said that his was in the 7 to 8 range. This, now that it's had a time to equilibrate a little bit, is hanging out at about 9. It's 9.02. Is this even going to be meaningful? Is it? Well, okay, okay. It is kind of a... Uh, yeah, yeah, it is the greenish color I would expect from about 9. Okay, all right, all right. That's okay. I, I'm not going to fiddle with it anymore, man. I'm just not going to add any more alkali to it. Um, so, yeah, yeah, um, important tip, man. I mean, make sure that you're... It, there can be recommended amounts when it tells you, like, you know, how much acid or base to add to adjust it to a certain pH. Always check, right? Because, I mean, you never know... If a specific pH range is given, um, always try to shoot for that. Okay, what is this shit absorbing, like atmospheric carbon dioxide, or is my pH meter just on crack, or is it still equilibrating? Hmm, I don't know. Well, whatever. <laughs> I mean, there's going to be some that's left in the solution. I'm not stressing about it too much, I'm really not. Um... I mean, fuck, man. What, I, I can figure something to do with it, or I can just precipitate it out as some other violate salt. We'll figure out something. Anywho, the next part of this is to chill this puppy in ice for a few hours. So, I have... Now, it says to put it in the refrigerator, but that's just not redneck enough for us here. So, we are going to go with some ice. Um, not like that, obviously. Um, I'll, I'll, you know, ice water. And I will let it chill in there for 
I don't know. A few hours is kind of a... Once again, we have a nebulous quantity here. I don't know, my mother always told me that a couple was two, a few was three, and several was anything between four and seven, so maybe a few is three. I don't know, I'll take a look at it as I go and we'll see. I don't, as usual, I, I'm not stressing about yield so much as I am about purity. And so long as it's pure, I can deal with it. If there's a little bit more in the solution than precipitates out, meh, 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 I don't fucking care. We'll make use of all of it, trust me. So, anyway, I will come back when there's um something to actually show you. All right, everybody, I have had this cooling on ice now for just under three hours. Um, I just wanted to get a shot of it before I filtered it. Because of the angle of the sun, I'm not going to try to filter or film me filtering it because it's just really, really bright and the angle is really, really weird. I just wanted you guys to see what it looked like before I did that. Um, IRL, it's kind of a purplish red. I don't know. It looks like it's kind of coming across as more of a reddish here. But um, it's beautiful. And it is exactly what we're supposed to get. So I am going to filter this stuff off and I will come back when I'm ready for you guys to have a look at it. All right, everybody, there we have it. Um, it's the next day. I've had this stuff drying in the desiccator over three angstrom molecular sieves overnight. It's still a little damp. It needs a little more time in there. But you can see it is beautiful. It's exactly the color it's supposed to be, I think. And um, yeah, yeah, I fucking love everything about it. This was a great little prep, man. Everything worked perfectly. Um, very easy, very straightforward gotta love it when it's like that um so yeah yeah I, i'm very happy with it and I, I have to say i'm always so surprised that nobody well that I, i'm surprised that everybody else is surprised by me using molecular sieves in the desiccator like it, it's astonishing to me that i seem to be like one of the only fuckers on earth that seems to have thought of that it's like people if they absorb water from ethanol They'll absorb water vapor. <laughs> it's not a great mental leap, man. Um, and they're awesome because they don't become saturated with it. So they retain, you know, this massive amount of surface area. You don't get that on sulfuric acid. That's just a flat layer or something like, you know, alkali, which tends to crust up and, again, becomes kind of flattish and... There's just not a lot of surface area. These things voraciously fucking hold on to water and they retain their large surface area. I mean, honestly, and they're like almost, like just almost endlessly rechargeable. I, I really don't understand why everybody is always like, huh? It's like, how did you not think of this? Anyway, um, I don't know. Just, just one of these things that's always like, oh, I read what people write. You know, I'm like, okay, th this... How did you not think of that? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> anyway, sorry, I know I got up on a tangent there. Um, as you can see, it works great. I mean, it works perfectly for a lot of different things. And they're more resilient than you might think, man. They, they will tolerate, believe it or not, some acid vapor. Yeah, try it. See, I, I, I have been astonished at the punishment these fucking things will take. Um, so anyway, if you like it, that video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down, subscribe, comment, share the video, please donate some money. And until the next one, you guys, I will see you later.